Hello, my name is Alexandra Rusina, and I'm a programming writer for C-Sharp and Visual Basic languages. I'm going to show you how you can convert a Visual Basic for Applications macro to C-Sharp application. And I'm going to follow a common scenario when people record a macro using Microsoft Office and port the code to their applications. I enter two numbers, and I use Auto Field to get ten numbers. And then I change the color of this column to blue. And finally, I want to add a simple chart to display these 10 numbers. And I'm going to use cone chart. That's it. Now I can stop recording. And let's see what I have. OK, here is my macro. I don't want to edit it here. So I want to copy it to Visual Studio 2010. In Visual Studio, I start with creating a new project. It's going to be Visual C Sharp console application because it's the easiest choice. And the first step is to add a reference to my project. And this should be a reference to Microsoft Office Interop Excel assembly. Here it is. Now I want to create a shortcut, so I don't need to type the full name every time I need to use an Excel object. Okay, now I need to create an Excel application. And I also want to add a new workbook to this application so I have something to work with. And finally, I want to make my application visible. That's it. Now I want to copy VBA code here. And you can see that it's all highlighted as error because C Sharp doesn't know anything about such objects as active cell or selection. These are, in fact, properties of Excel application object. So I use Alt plus mouse to select the first column so I can add Excel app dot to all the lines at once. Uh, the next thing I need to fix is uh, with block because C Sharp doesn't know anything about that. I again copy the selection uh, interior and then I use Alt plus mouse to copy it inside the with block and then I can delete the first and the last lines of this block. Now I need to fix some syntax. Sharp 4 has index properties, but it uses a different syntax. So I need to change all the parentheses to square brackets. And I can use a simple find and replace to do this. Uh, one more new feature in Sharp is optional parameters. And again, it uses a little bit different syntax. In VB, you use colon plus equal sign, and in C-sharp it should be just colon. Again, I can use simple find and replace to fix this syntactic problem. Okay. Now is the most boring part. I need to add semicolons and parentheses uh, to all method calls, and I need to do it manually. Of course, uh, there are tools that can do it for you automatically, but if you have a small application like the one I have here, it's probably faster and easier to do it manually. Okay, I'm done. You can see that there are not that many errors left. Range objects, again, I need to copy Excel app and add it to each range object. And finally, I have constants. Uh, constants, again, in VBA there are global variables and C Sharp uh, stores them in classes and I need to find which classes each constant belongs to. I use Object Browser for that, so I simply copy the name of the constant and then I see in which, in which class the constant is stored. And then I just copy the fully qualified name to my program. Sometimes you can see that the constant uh, can be in more than one class. 
and in this case you can usually guess by name which one you need. Uh, the most common one is usually Microsoft Office uh, Interop Excel dot constants. So if you are not sure which one you need, this is probably the most frequent one. But again, it's pretty easy to guess by name. You can see that basically almost all highlightings are gone, and uh, I don't need to add any missing parameters or deal with index properties except for syntax error and I am done with my application and the last step I have to do is just to compile and run. Here is my Excel spreadsheet and it has all the data that I needed and I spent less than five minutes on converting it from VBA to C-sharp.